that easy. We're in business. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Step over all my stuff. We're ripping a bumper off of the back of my Mustang and uh, for good reason. So we are finally, and I've had this for a while, finally I've worked up the nerve to actually install this. And that is of course this parachute mount. This is from BMR and this one's pretty cool. So a few different companies actually make parachute mounts for uh, your Mustangs, the S550s really any year. But this one's a little bit different because if you see the way that it's canted right here, the uh, crash bar is what I'm gonna call this, because uh, that's what we're gonna be replacing. Anyway, it's angled, so this will actually allow this to be mounted in different locations, a little bit different than some of the competitors out there. This is all BMR. Links in description for discount codes. Use code Xander7 at bmrsuspension.com. Now, uh, this is going to locate either about right here uh, which can interfere with your uh, license plate, but you have another option to come right back down here. So we will be drilling into this bumper. This will be a permanent modification. Now, the benefit to mounting it down low would be if you had a drag wing on your car. I do not. I have this Anderson Composites 350 uh, style spoiler here with the lip that looks really good. But what I'm going to do, I think, is go right behind the license plate area here. That way, if I ever wanted to remove this piece, a license plate will just cover it up. But if you leave it down here, there's nothing wrong with doing that. Um, I want it to be a little bit higher. I played around with it last night and got somebody to hold this. And uh, I thought that it looked a little bit more pleasant up higher. Uh, some of the other competition, they're somewhere in the ballpark of right here. But uh, will that interfere if you have like a big drag wing? I don't know. But that is why BMR designed their shoot mount this way. You're excited? The reason is because we're basically future proofing the car. We want to go fast in the car. So you don't really need a parachute on your Mustang until you're basically doing 150 mile an hour and a quarter mile or faster. With the twin turbos that are underneath this car, this car is fully capable of touching low nines, possibly high eights. The more we drive it and the more we learn the car. Um, I think it will be some time before we're going that fast. I don't know. We actually have an event tomorrow. We're gonna let this thing sink. So there is instructions online. It's text, there's a few pictures, but there's no video that really tells you step-by-step step how to do this with this brand of a shoot mount. So that is why this video now exists. So if you like this content, please give it a thumbs up. And um, if you wanna see this car go fast, well, you know what to do. Subscribe to the channel and turn post notifications on. I really appreciate it. Anyway, let's uh, quit talking and get to modding. It's a little bit different than yours possibly. This was a 401A option car and it had the, uh, the side markers here for your um, blind spot monitoring. So seven millimeter, uh, bolt here and in here kind of tough to get to but it lives basically in this area location here this location here Take your time. It's kind of tough to get to look at all this. Uh, this is from tires and stuff like that That's pretty crazy it just builds up anyway, so we're gonna have to disassemble all this We'll get to in a second, but this crash bar is what we're gonna take off next So we got a 13 millimeter here and we're just gonna slide through get this crash bar off now, uh, BMR also sells some deletes. I've got one in the front. I also have one in the rear that I've never even used and I uh, was going to, but then we decided to do the parachute mount. But this is kind of, this is the bar, oh, making a mess. So what you would do is take your old crash bar off and then this would mount just like that. And this weighs next to nothing. So BMR says that if you delete this and the front and you replace with these guys, which they sell for like dirt cheap, honestly, uh, it will save in the ballpark of like 22 pounds. Now that may not seem like a whole lot to you know you guys, but for race car life, every uh, 100 pounds is about a 10th of a second. So anywhere that you can shave weight, you know, this might be a viable option. Will this keep you safe in an accident? I don't know. But, you know, if you want a race car, you know, you could do something like this. But uh, the parachute mount is substantially heavier than this. So this weighs honestly like a pound or two. This is probably about as heavy as the OEM crash bar and it's going to mount up. You see all these drill holes here uh, to make it rock solid whenever you're pulling a chute 
going really fast in a straight line so you don't want things ripping out and uh bmr's got you covered there so all right where is there it is a mess my garage stays a mess because i'm always working on stuff always always working on cars but Yeah, this is a lot heavier than that red bar I was just holding up, your OEM crash bar here. So, just going to place it off to the side. We will not be using this again, probably ever. Now, we uh, disassemble this, show you how to do it. It's a lot of stuff to take apart. We're going to be drilling through all of this, so we got to make sure we're not going through wires. This is a parachute cable. It's going to go, I'm probably going to go straight through here somewhere, so we got to make sure that we are, uh, I think we'll be good. There's no wires going through here. And and uh, I've already got, as you guys may have already seen, the lever here, shout out Motion Raceworks, and I've got it just basically going through the back there, all nice and clean. And we'll have to trim up this cable once we actually put the chute on the car, but this is cool, man. It takes you about 30 minutes to get the bumper off, if you're wondering. Using a level, a little bit of technology here, so I've got uh, it is about even as I can get it. BMR. So the way this works is once we get everything back together and get the parachute and the uh, the mount, the bracket, once we get the actual parachute on and see our location here, we'll determine how far out that mount needs to come because even with it pushed all the way in, for example, we still have clearance here, but with the chute, it's gonna add a little bit of uh, space there. So what BMR allows you to do is slide this thing back and forth as need be, because you might have a bigger chute or a smaller chute, whatever, and then you're gonna actually drill through and make your own holes. Pretty cool, it's uh, very customizable. So if I were to flip this bar upside down, then this would drop about four and a half inches. The reason I don't want to do that, honestly, is because, so about four inches down from the center line of uh, right here, your screw holes for your license plate. So let's pretend like right about here. With a license plate, you could take that bar off and then hide it, or you can come down lower, but you can have to cut into the bumper down here and then slightly into the, uh, the valance, the black valance. So, you know, I could do it in the future if I determined that I want it to be down lower. But I think this is going to be nice and pretty where it sits there. I don't know if we're going to have to cut up or modify the license plate that I have if I want to leave it permanently. But uh, this is how it's going to kind of look. Pretty cool. Very impressed. Other companies, you're kind of stuck. So they, uh, they're they pretty much just straight bar. What we've done is uh, we've taken two existing 13 millimeter bolts that came out of the crash bar just to mount this up, make sure it's as level as possible. And then we're going to start drilling through the center here. So this area on this side these two these holes we are going to drill all the way through the metal and then the so basically the outer sides uh we are only going to go through the first layer of metal there so pilot holes are drilled and we're going to fall through with a half inch remember first layer on this one all right it's pretty easy now we're going all the way through. There's nothing back here, so we're just gonna go all the way through. Still be very careful. Progress. So we got our holes drilled out here and looks good. A cool thing about the course is we can actually get by without dropping the full mufflers back here. So you want to come under here, drill a hole because you're gonna slide a uh, little bracket to go on the other side of that. I'll show you in just a second. But as far as the bumper goes, so again, like I was talking about, center hole there so you find your center line for your uh screws to hold in the license plate center line come down four inches if you want it in this position here and then cut a hole pretty simple and i uh, use painter's tape to uh, not mess up the paint and then just go straight through the back there now here's what i was talking about the benefit to this kit is that if i wanted license plate back in a position here it completely covers it up so just like that again now if we want to move it down you're going to have a hole and at that point you know it's going to be solid forever probably uh you'd never take it off your car anyway i mean at this point when you're mounting a, a uh, parachute mount it's full race car life from uh, from here on out pretty much so cool thing is you know you can hide this and uh, if you wanted to trade in your car or something like that not a big deal uh where you can get a plug and just fill it back in whatever you want to do but man i mean pretty easy installation 
I'm very impressed so far. So we're gonna keep rocking and rolling and get this guy on the car and then figure out where we're gonna run our chute cables through. And it's gotta go through here somewhere. I'm thinking towards the bottom. So it'll come out in this vicinity here and uh, that'll be it. And we'll back it out of the garage, mount the parachute, see what it looks like and uh, go from there. Let's see how good of a job we did. So we're gonna mount this in the same position like we did before with our existing hardware real quick. A couple of threads on this and the other side. This is a little bit of work to get this done, but again, I like the adjustability that this thing offers and then before we actually torque down there is torque ratings on these bolts uh, we'll verify level again and uh, go from there but we're just checking our holes see if we need to widen anything make any changes all actually looks pretty good right now so these holes we drilled out here I extended them a little bit I don't know what this stuff is back here what is I don't know what all this is <laughs> but anyway the way this works is comes these sleeves so on your outer edges you take this one for example and you'll come up through there hopefully you can pick this up and then these guys will actually feed into uh this guy here so it'll fit in there make sure they thread and then you'll take your long bolts and remember we had to go all the way through so for example shove them through like this like that take another silver one come through the back and I may need to play with fitment a little bit here so we can get this close. Uh, it's close to the back. There we go. Yeah, she's coming through. So a little bit of persuasion there. Um, again, you can, you know, uh, file up your holes, do whatever you need to do, get them perfect. And uh, then we will take our sleeve here. So the way this is going to work is carefully hold through and then we're going to feed it through like that. And then uh, we'll move on. And then we got to uh, locate where exactly on the brace there holding the chute we actually want to drill through. Um, and then we got to, I think, actually mount the parachute onto the back of that. At least take the, uh, the backboard of the chute, make our adjustment, see if we have any issues. Let's, let's keep going. What I have done is try to make this as clean as an install, kind of like everything else in my car. And uh, I just don't like things just slopped together. So got the cable running through there. It's actually got these uh, little tie downs all throughout so it doesn't just flop around. And I'm gonna continue that process through here. So we are gonna have to trim this cable a little bit, obviously, but um, I've got a hole coming through here, through the firewall uh, of the back, whatever you wanna call it, the metal of the back here out through here uh just a little christmas tree bit we'll get the job done the bar is good to go so now we're going to mount the bumper i've already actually test fit it my hole's pretty close but we're going to re-verify because at this point the bumper is going to go back on so see if uh we have completely butchered this install if it looks good we gotta run our cable through our new little hole and i'll show you how this is gonna look once we're on the car very carefully it's definitely come in handy if you had a second person oh my gosh so here we go this is about to come back off too because we still gotta do a little bit more drilling but to test fit and see how things are going to look just let it hang like that of course once this is all yeah so we got straight through and then that's why it's giving me a hard time there we go and then once it's clipped together it should be solid once we have this thing all buttoned up then this is about how this is going to live our chute's going to live about right there and then our cable will run somewhat like this so we'll have to cut it about right there something like that maybe Maybe like this. They make these little rubber grommets that, uh, I don't know what they're called, but they go in through here. To clean up this hole a little bit more, I'm gonna fill that in with something like that. And uh, she'll look good, she'll look factory. All right guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. So we're gonna call this a part one. Tomorrow we're gonna be doing a lot with the car. We gotta get it ready. Race weekend, finally, yes. But just to show you, just to wrap up what we have done, all this is pretty much self-explanatory at this point. Put the car back together. Uh, if you want to see what the parachute looks like, 
you got to subscribe to the channel get ready uh race content coming in a couple of days subscribe really appreciate it helps us out tremendously you guys are awesome everything that we do on the channel is in support of your viewing pleasure being able to help you guys install stuff teach you as much as possible uh just have fun but speaking of fun like i said race content is upon us tomorrow is going to be exciting and then saturday it's time to finally unleash this tail horse twin turbo car i'm so excited but i like this location already more i didn't really want to drill through this area down here you can again that is where bmr has done their homework when you start to tighten up all the bolts under here um it kind of squishes the metal together uh it, it reinforces uh the, the back of the mounting location uh considerably so some of the other options on the market for mounts use the pre-existing holes is that going to be enough yeah probably but bmr like i said probably did their homework a little bit more those guys are all about racing and going fast by the way if you did not know now you do we have bmr suspension almost their entire catalog on this car really really helps us out at the track helps us to go fast again i can't stress it enough if you want to save some money and you want free shipping use promo code xander7 at checkout bmrsuspension.com and save yourself some money free shipping i hate paying shipping i know you guys do too so i uh, definitely appreciate you guys using the code but i mean this is it this is it um yeah so we're going to trim the cable tomorrow tomorrow we're going to mount the parachute and uh, we're going to wrap it up and do a whole layout everything it's coming from hell horse performance i'm really excited to get it but um, I know this is going to get brought up in the comments before I let you guys go. What about a, what about a roll cage?